Twice a month, two free games come out for gold members. I play them for 10 minutes so you can decide if they're worth a download. Studis! Mania Nain, what's up you guys? Excuse the lateness by a few days. I just spent the last few days at a Japanese culture and anime convention called Tokyo in Tulsa. It was awesome. You can uh, check the pictures and the videos I made there on TikTok if you want. Link in the description below. Let's go ahead and start Hover. Don't know what this is. It is the middle of October 2021 and normally we get two games for free. Today we just got... This time we just got the one. So let's hope that one makes up for the lack of other game. There's an online mode. I don't know what this is. That's the team's name. Eh, close enough. Team Minion! Can we go? Oh my god, okay, this is... It's, oh, I have a cursor! That's why I was confused. I was, you know, looking for conventional, you know, efficient menu management and not... A fucking cursor! Alright. Studis! We're gonna pick a character. And I'm guessing... Only the ones that have colors, I own. The rest must be unlocked another way through playing, I guess. Okay. Create. Also, I should shrink myself down just a wee bit more. Character name must contain at least two characters. Oh, I have to name the character. Oh my god, this cursor is slow. Why? Me! That's two letters. Low ass. I should just boop, boop, be able to, you know, D pad my way down there. But no! Load this character. Why is this so overly complicated? In the year 4214, the Galactic Union undertook a vast program of colonization. Gigantic ships were scattered throughout the galaxy, settled on distant planets, and one of these royalties. The new great administrator began to undertake a series of aggressive reforms in order to forbid all hands of leisure. All the city traffic is under control. The population is closely monitored, and all the contact with the outside world has been suddenly cut off. A group of rebel self called the Gamers has formed a recent resistance to anti leisure propaganda and find the means to reestablish contact with the Galactic Union. Just in time. Hello, can you hear me? Um. I should appear in your head up in display interface. Okay, connection established. Yep, there you are, dude. I just woke, you just woke up from a cloning tank. You're probably not in good shape for, oh, let's start slowly. Straight ahead of you, you can see one of my holographic representations. Come closer to speak to me. All right, I like, I, I, I've always been a fan of tune shading. The controls feel pretty good, solid. Not, oh, look, did I just, did I just like wall jump off of that? Ooh, okay. That wasn't so much a wall jump as it was a climb up a ledge jump. It does it automatically. You don't have to even be pushing or holding the jump button. He just he just does it. The camera is a little... I like how he leans when he turns, though. That's actually... Look at that. Good animation blending there. Alright. It's a little wonky because he doesn't stop right when you tell him to. He does that really... Devs, please. That really annoying when you let go, your character just keeps kind of stumbling forward a little bit, like they're just learning how feet work. Stop it! Looking at you, Neo Wiz. What am I doing? Uh, speak. Hey there, how are you feeling with this new body of yours? Sorry for the lack of warm welcome. There's no way to create clones apart from this abandoned place, so you're going to have to get out of here, clone. Don't panic, we're gonna help you. Otello has placed holograms like this one to help you out. I added boxes that can give you information as well. Scan the switch near the laser door to open it. How do I scan things? Do I do it with Y? Ooh. Switch has been scanned because just going like this, boop, is too much to ask. You there. And another door. Search around you, you should find a switch. I knew, yep. Yeah, seriously? 
Hold Y or LB to get information on surroundings when you're lost. And don't forget the scanner has a good range. So no need to stick your face on the switch to activate it. See, I, I would have used my hands. I wasn't- oh god, because I aimed the scanner at him. Stop! <laughs> Hold Y or LB to scan and interact with elements or start conversations just by- yes, I did- I know! Seriously. Got the switch in there? Thank you so much! Ah, farts. I fell down before I was ready. Beep. But can I double jump? No, I cannot. All of the bridges linking to these platforms have collapsed. You're going to have to jump from platform to platform to reach the door. Press A or RT to jump. Keep it pressed to reach maximum height. Woohoo! What does it tell me about? Nothing? Okay, that's just a waypoint. Bam! And kabam! Oh, no, no! Ew, spider webs? Okay. This place is kind of... Okay, oh, he said it's an abandoned clone factory, right? All the doors are locked. Just climb the way up and get to the air vent. You automatically hang on to ledges. Yakety schmackety. Blah, blah, blah. Woo! Parkour! That was kind of neat. Okay, now what? Uh, seriously? There we go. Wall jump! Just after a jump, if you jump once again against the wall, you will do a wall jump. It's like this. Oh, and you can wall jump indefinitely! I like it! Okay, this is, this is kind of cool. It's growing on me. Uh-oh. Hold X to grind! Or fall! <laughs> we'll get this. I hope it's like the grinding in, um... What was, it? What was the name of that game? Dark Valley? Dark something? You, kept, you would grind from place to place that you set up and it was fun as hell. Woo! Eh, it's not quite the same. There's no... Gosh darn it! That little stumble that I forgot how to stop walking when I want to stop moving. Stupid stumble. There, now stop. Hammer time. Hold X to grind on grindable objects. But, okay, you don't have to keep your balance, that's nice. But you do have to move the camera yourself. Which is a little irritating that you have to like hold a button with your right hand and then le reach over with your left thumb to to do the camera. When you're scanning too, it's a little annoying. It should be like, while I'm scanning, camera control should switch over to the, uh, the left stick. New information which aren't normally available are now visible with the scan. Eh, I don't care. Ah! See? Getting into dangerous shit because I can't. My brakes or brake lines have been cut. This is a difficult door. It closes a few seconds after being opened. You're gonna have to use your suit's features to get through this one. What are my suit's features? Activate that switch over there. Right after activating it, press B or RB to rewind. Wait a minute, is this like a Sands of Time, Prince of Persia thing? Rewinding will bring you back to your previous shit. If we're careful though, it does not rewind time. Don't get too excited. Aww. It's very useful to correct your mistakes or so. Okay, so it's basically like a save point type deal. Woo! Is there fall damage? Nope, we're good. All right. Scan and reset. Oh, hold it. Boop. Okay, so it's not rewinding time. It just takes me back to where I was. Prince of Persia still does it better. <laughs> Different, and I wouldn't say better. What do we got here? Spray graffiti here. Oh, how do I spray graffiti? Talk to me, man. Oh my god, stop in front of him. I just want to be sure you can use the graffiti hollow projector tap repeatedly on Y or LB to change graffiti, then release it. Oh, charge, then release it. Okay. 
good. I'm opening the door now. That's what you wanted me to do? Vandalism. To deface. Well done. Spraying the graffiti. What are you with some experience points? Whee! Oh no! Oh! Yeah, I'm just... This game is... is like 80% of this game is just accidentally falling off shit. I feel like hover is, uh, hover is misleading. It should be fall off shit. You should find a container in that room. Scan it to open it once you have found the augment chip in there. Add it to your skill grid. This is complex. I don't think 10 minutes is going to cover it. To access the skill grid, press menu, then open the character when you... Oh my god. Okay. I have scanned it! I have a cheap pulse generator. Ooh, that gives me a double jump. But I have to activate it first. I have to put it in my skill grid. I guess. Character? Um... Now what? Seriously, now what? Choose an item to add. The pulse generator. Perfect. It'll open the door. I thought it was going to let me double jump. Keep in mind that the higher your level, the more slots you unlock in your skill grid. Okay, so... Level up to shove more things inside you. Okay, it's not a double jump, it's just higher jump. Gotcha. What is... What did I just... I just meant to scan it. I didn't... Want to, like... Get a job as a parcel delivery dude. What is... If you ever pick up a parcel and it leaves a trail... Drop it and run. And throw it. There we go. We're getting to the secured area. You'll have to plug in the USB box to open the US box. Sorry. The ultra serial box. To open the gate. I feel like there's a B missing there. It, it bugs me. Universal serial box. I don't like it. Alright, plug! Woo! I have plugged! It was good. All right, uh, 10 minutes is not going to be enough to cover this, but I think it's safe to say this game is worth uh, worth taking a look at. It's worth giving a shot. It's, uh, you know, aside from the constantly falling off stuff, I actually enjoyed this. So, it gets a thumbs up. I hope you guys have a great rest of your October. Check out my channel for other content. Come find me on Twitch, TikTok. Hang out with us on my Gilded server. Hopefully see you soon. Go be freaking heroes, you guys. Minion out.